So ever since that first report came out a few days ago talking about Nintendo's next-gen system or the Nintendo Switch 2, it was followed up by other publications like Eurogamer and IGN, but now a lot of other articles have also started coming out saying that they have sources that have also told them more information about the Nintendo Switch 2, and since you guys like hearing me talking about these types of things and you guys are also interested in this, I know a lot of people send these to me on Twitter and ask me to cover this as well because there's one that's going on right now about the possibility of the Nintendo Switch 2 potentially even getting getting revealed this month or confirmed by Nintendo or something and I don't really know if I believe it and I feel like they might just be kind of doing this because they know the Nintendo Switch 2 hype is pretty much in the air right now from everything that's going on but I do want to break everything down with you guys and give you guys my thoughts because there is also some other stuff here that I actually do believe and I think does have a chance of happening in terms of information about the system itself. All right, so let's talk about the possibility of the reveal because this is an article that I've seen a lot of you guys send to me. It came out just a few days ago and it says here, report, Nintendo could confirm new hardware as soon as the end of August. And it says right here, Nintendo could be planning to confirm the existence of its next console at Gamescom this year, a start menu source familiar with Nintendo Partner Studios tells us. As reported by VGC and corroborated by Eurogamer, the follow-up to the Switch is reportedly planned for release in the second half of 2024. Both sites have cited sources that state development studios have dev kits in hand. However, Start Menu has learned that the Japanese-based firm could be confirming the existence of new hardware as soon as the end of August 2023. The source, which is in regular contact with multiple studios and platform holders across the industry, told Start Menu that Nintendo plans to announce the follow-up to the Switch at Gamescom. The source originally tipped Start Menu off to this at the end of July in 2023, but due to the lack of evidence supporting the claim, however, we didn't feel comfortable reporting on the story. We also felt highly unlikely that the Tokyo company would announce the existence of a console in a European region, considering leadership of the company is mainly centered in Japan and the US. Say. However, several details of VGC's report are lining up with Start Menu sources have said have convinced us that this story might hold some truth to it. The source also told Start Menu that they believe that several studios with close partnerships with Nintendo have received dev kits to begin familiarizing themselves with the new hardware. It is unclear if the claim of at Gamescom means that Nintendo will be holding a Nintendo Direct the week of the show, 22nd to the 27th of August, or if the company will announce a potential Switch 2 at a Gamescom event, such as Jeff Keighley's co-run uh, co opening night live uh, event on the 22nd of August. The Switch was announced via a tweet in 2016, only a handful of months before the console's release, and previous to that, the Wii U was first unveiled at E3 2011, back when the company still attended the LA convention. Since then, Nintendo has stepped back from almost all person uh, in live events in favor of pre-recorded Nintendo Directs. Nintendo confirmed its attendance at the show for the first time since 2019. And it says here, however, despite the company's confirmation that it will be at the show, there has been little indication as to what it will be showing, even down to what games Nintendo may demo. It is also worth noting that despite a jam-packed winter slate of releases, including Super Mario RPG and Super Mario Bros. Wonder, the company has not been booking any behind-the-doors appointments with press, bar a single third-party game that the console manufacturer is helping to distribute. To dive into pure analysis and speculation, we are still somewhat skeptical that Nintendo would make a console announcement before the winter season as confirmation of a new console to cannibalize Switch sales come the holidays. We are also still somewhat hesitant to believe that Nintendo would make such a big announcement at a show that it has not had prioritized for several years now. However, we do believe that it's very likely, even if Nintendo doesn't confirm a new console this month, that the company will be using one of its last remaining international in-person industry events to meet with partners from across the globe to discuss upcoming hardware. Alright, so this article is pretty much all over the place because they were saying that they heard from their source that Nintendo was going to reveal the Switch 2 at Gamescom and they heard this at the end of July, but they didn't make an article talking about it because they didn't really believe it. But after this VGC report came out and then it was followed up by Eurogamer, they were saying that a lot of stuff that they heard in those articles was lining up with the source that told them about this Gamescom thing. So now they're reporting on it and they're saying that there could be some credibility to it. And while it is true that Nintendo is attending Gamescom this year for the first time since 2019, I don't really think that this means anything. Like, Nintendo attends conventions all the time and events like this. Like, even earlier this year, they attended PAX, and a lot of people were like, is there going to be a playable demo for Tears of the Kingdom? Are people going to get to play the game? 
And they actually, I think, ended up having like that Ayanuma event where he was like demoing the game and talking about it. So they did end up doing something. But like I said, it was still like its own separate event that they did with like a separate video that they uploaded themselves. And it wasn't really connected anything with PAX. So I feel like they might do something like that if it is possible to happen something like this. I don't think they're going to use Gamescom to debut their next Nintendo system. I just don't think that that's going to happen. And Nintendo wouldn't use any type of event, even if it's something as big as like the Game Awards. I know Xbox used the Game Awards to like show the Xbox Series X for the first time. Nintendo just isn't really that type of company. Like I feel like they would not do that at all and they would absolutely like to have like their own special event that they show the next Nintendo system. And I feel like even the reveal for it is probably just going to be done all according to Nintendo's own terms. Like I feel like just like what they did with the Nintendo Switch, where that was just one random day in October at like 10 o'clock at night. They just tweeted out saying, be among the first to discover the Nintendo NX, watch the reveal trailer tomorrow morning. And that's how they basically generated hype like crazily that night. And I feel like that's exactly what they're going to do with the Nintendo Switch 2, where it'll probably just be a random tweet one day where they're just going to be like, you know, discover the next generation of Nintendo or something like that as we show the special first look video or something tomorrow. And it'll It'll just be something along those lines. I don't think that they're going to use Gamescom. Even the Switch OLED and the Switch Lite trailers were just randomly shadow dropped one day in July. So I feel like it's either going to be something like that where you're just going to wake up to a brand new trailer showing the next Nintendo system or they're going to try to generate a little bit of hype and announce it prior. But I definitely think it's all going to be according to Nintendo's own stuff and not really using any type of other event. And especially like with the article mentioning too, Nintendo already has some holiday games that are coming out this year with Super Mario Bros. Wonder and Super Mario RPG and things like that. So why would they announce the next Nintendo system and potentially ruin the sales of these games? Because if somebody sees the next Nintendo system getting confirmed or even like a picture or a video trailer revealing it, then they might just be like, you know what? I'm going to save my money. I'm not going to buy Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I'm not going to buy Super Mario RPG because I need to save my money now to get this system when it comes out next year. It would just make no sense and Nintendo still wants everybody to buy it, so that's why they're going to do that. They revealed the Switch back in October because at the time, the Wii U was already doing terribly, so it didn't matter, and the 3DS was like its own thing with its own handheld games, so it wasn't really like cutting into the sales of the 3DS by announcing the Switch, so it was an appropriate time. But with the Switch still doing well, there's really no reason for them to announce the Switch 2 this year right now. All right, but in terms of stuff that's actually a little more believable, I want to talk to you guys about this information that we have here. And this is actually coming from somebody known as Nate the Hate. And if you don't know who Nate the Hate is, he appears on like the Spawn Wave podcast and he has his own YouTube channel and podcast as well. And this guy is actually like a real insider who does give hints and teases about upcoming announcements that do turn out to be true. I don't know exactly how accurate his track record is, but many times the stuff that he does say ends up being true. Like he teased Fire Emblem Engage talking about like something red and blue. And of course that was referring to like that new protagonist and that turned out to be completely correct. And just most recently, like right before the last Nintendo Direct that happened, a week before he was saying like, next week seems like a great time for a Nintendo Direct to happen. And guess what happened? We got a Nintendo Direct the next week. So it definitely seems like this person does have inside sources and is hearing stuff. So I definitely put more faith into what this person says compared to like what these random articles are coming out talking about like this Gamescom reveal and stuff like that. So in his most recent podcast, he was talking about information about the Nintendo Switch 2. And this article basically compiles all the information here. So I do want to talk about it and go through it with you guys. And it says right here, the Nintendo Switch 2 will come with a significant amount of internal flash memory and an 8 inch LCD screen, according to new rumors circulating online. Speaking during his latest podcast, Nate the Hate, who provided plenty of information regarding video games correctly before official announcements in the past, commented on the new console from Nintendo, revealing some some new information. Apparently, the console will be released in late 2024 between September and early October, possibly accompanied by a new 3D Super Mario game. So this is already some crazy information. We're already getting like potential release months even where Nate the Hate is saying that it might be coming out somewhere in September and early October, which honestly would make perfect sense. Like that would still be kind of around that late kind of holiday time, but it's also not crucially into the holiday either. Like November, like right before Thanksgiving or something that usually a lot of consoles do like with the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. Honestly, September and October would be even better. You get a jump start and you get people who will still be asking for it on Christmas and all of that. And even the Switch OLED did come out in early October on October 8th. So it definitely seems like a possibility. 
And then he even said here that it's going to be possibly accompanied by a new 3D Super Mario game. This also makes a lot of sense to me. I feel like launching the system with a big new 3D Mario game would be perfect. Everybody would be asking for that game on Christmas and for the holidays. It makes a lot of sense and especially with Super Mario Bros. Wonder coming out by September and October next year, Mario Wonder will be a year old. People will have already played it and everything. And by that time, Super Mario Odyssey, which is the last 3D Mario game will be like seven years old. So it is definitely time for a new 3D Mario game. And so launching the next Nintendo system alongside one would be the perfect thing to do. It also says here, Nate the Hate also talked about some of the Nintendo Switch 2 specifications, revealing that he has been told that the console will feature an 8-inch LCD screen, which is a big upgrade in terms of the size compared to the 6.2-inch 6 screen of the standard Switch model, and a more moderate one uh, compared to the 7-inch screen of the OLED model. So this is pretty cool as well, because it seems like the Nintendo Switch 2 is actually going to have a bigger screen, which, to be honest with you guys, the OLED screen that I have right now, I'm actually really fine with that. I think that's the perfect size for a Nintendo Switch screen. I think the bezels on that are really nice. I think the colors and everything just looks really nice. So honestly, I wouldn't have even mind if they just basically took the exact same panel and used that for the next Nintendo system as well with the Switch 2, just having better like specs inside of it and all of that. But it seems like Nintendo does want to have a bigger screen too. So we are going to be seeing a bigger 8-inch screen. So if you're going from like the original Nintendo Switch to this, you're definitely going to notice a big upgrade. Uh, OLED users might not really notice it that much, but it's still going to be pretty nice. And I guess Nintendo wants to do this so that it's easy for people to tell like who has a Switch 2 and who doesn't have one. So it doesn't really surprise me. But here's where it gets interesting, where it says here, speaking about flash memory, the insider heard some chatter about a fairly significant amount of internal storage space with a maximum amount figure of 512 gigabytes, which would be a huge upgrade over both the standard Switch and the OLED model. So this sounds kind of too good to be true. If anything, Nintendo, like with hardware in terms of like its storage capacity, that's the one thing that Nintendo is always just so garbage at, in my opinion. Like even like the 3DS, like it came with like two gigabytes little SD cards. The Wii U did this the worst. Like the Wii U had two configurations where you had the basic model which was in white and the deluxe model which was in black and the basic white one came with eight gigabytes of storage. Like we're not even talking double digits, just eight gigabytes of memory and that was awful like I like you can't even fit like one game on that with how like the some of the big games that came out on the Wii U in terms of like Smash Bros and Breath of the Wild and Xenoblade X and stuff like that so I don't know what they were thinking even the switch coming with 32 gigabytes is awful as well at least the OLED model has it a little bit better because it comes with 64 but even that is still a small amount too like these days now these games are pretty big now Xenoblade 3 was like 13 gigabytes Tears of the Kingdom is like 13 14 gigabytes too I'm pretty sure I think it was actually like 18 or something i know that's a big game breath of the wild smash bros ultimate we're getting big games now and especially if we're moving to the next generation and we're going to be seeing like these games that are now releasing on playstation 5 and xbox series x and if they're going to be trying to port those over to the switch as well you're going to want to have a lot of memory so i do hope that this is true because the nintendo system does need to have a lot of memory we start seeing like those box arts now like we've had these box arts for the switch games for so long where it's like you get the cartridge for the physical game but you still have to download half the game uh, digitally and you have like that big banner on top of games that says like, oh, there's still like a big online download that's required. So I'm really hoping that the next Nintendo system does have a lot of storage and we can actually get rid of that and finally just have games like this on a cartridge that you can actually put inside of the hardware uh, in, in terms of like its storage. So I really do hope that it does have a lot of memory. And I'm sure it's still going to be expandable, like with a micro SD card. So we can get a lot of memory with that as well. And hopefully it does support like up to, you know, two terabytes, four terabytes. And we can actually have a lot of memory inside of that. And so yeah, that is pretty much all the information that we have right now regarding Nintendo's next-gen system and the Nintendo Switch 2. I don't really believe that whole Gamescom reveal stuff happening this month, but the possibility of having an 8-inch screen and more memory, I think that that definitely is pretty believable. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to click that like button and also subscribe to the channel as well as I am going to be talking more about the Nintendo Switch 2 and Nintendo's next-gen system as the information is coming out. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think about all of this as well. Go follow me on Twitter at actual arrow so you can be featured in videos and also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros and Nintendo. So definitely be sure to join that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.